Well, here we are. Sorry, VM, I forgot to warn VM that we're about to go live, but here we are. I'm still getting into the swing of things, having been out of the saddle for a while. And we were just patiently waiting with this elephant and the herd behind her. She could well be the matriarch. But there's quite a few big cows within this herd, and merely because she was uh, in the front at the time that we bumped into them doesn't mean that she is the leader. Oh, looks like the youngster closest to us has got a little bit of a playful streak in it. When you see them start kind of chewing on the end of their trunk like that, you know they, they've got a little bit of a funny mood. There it goes. It had a bit of a spring in its step. <laughs> and they often kind of bite onto their trunk because it gets in the way in the, in the early days. They haven't got complete control of it. Well, we've certainly been spoiled this morning with some cute and cuddly small, smaller versions of both elephant and lion. And it seems like on Jamie's wheel, Jamie's vehicle, you've been lucky enough to see that whole process in the making. So lots of action out here this morning. <laughs> if only it knew how many people were watching it. I wonder if it would still be acting this way. <laughs> There it goes, trundling off now. Got a bit far away from mum. And it seems like this one's having a personal kind of program to try and work out how on earth to get to work out this trunk more efficiently. Hello to Nikki, who would like to know if tuskless elephants are common here in the Mara. And I'm not too sure, Nikki. I've only spent a total of nine nights in the Mara before arriving here two days ago. So I've done three different safaris into this magical place, but twice of which was in 2012 and then once last year. So I'm actually not too sure. We'll have to keep an eye out, Nikki, and see how many tuskless females are about. But there are certainly none that I can see in this herd. Hello to All Right, who's all the way in Texas. I hope all is well over there. And you'd like me to have a guess at, as to how old I think that young elephant calf that was playing around earlier is. And I would guess in and around kind of between six months and a year. It certainly wasn't tiny, but judging by its playful nature and its lack of ability to coordinate its trunk, leads me to think it's somewhere roughly between the, the six months to 12 months brackets. But it can be very difficult to age animals, so it's always just a guess. Because I guess just like humans, you can get a big baby and a small baby and one that develops slightly faster than the others. And it's no different out here. This one is putting on a serious show. Off you go. Who are you wanting to chase off? It seems like nobody wants to play with it, but it's found another relatively young one then. Let's see if they don't get going with one another. It looks like the, the small ones actually lay down on the floor in front of it to try and entice it into some wrestling, possibly. <laughs> you can just see its feet kicking up into the air. 
It's having a tough time finding a playmate, but it seems happy enough to play on its own, which is a good thing. <laughs> the joyful innocence of youth is what we are experiencing here. Not a care in the world. And isn't that an absolutely beautiful vista behind me? The, the views in this place are really something that is taking some time to get a hold of because wherever you look, there are animals, there is beauty, and it's only going to get more intense. The next few weeks are going to see these plains filling up with wildebeest and zebra. And what you see as long golden grass now will be flattened in the next few months. It's hard to believe, actually. Some buffalo in the background there, just above the elephants, back on the left. And I'm happy to hear that Peyton agrees that just about every view in the Maru is beautiful. Non-stop action wherever you look.